What's up guys, it's Josh from Keep It Techie and today I wanted to show you guys how to safely store your passwords in Linux. So today I want to show you guys KeePass. This is an application I've been using for a bunch of years or whatever to store all my passwords. Now this is not a, just a Linux uh, exclusive application. Uh, it can be used on Windows. It can be used on Mac. So here's the website. It's basically KeePass.info. Um, let me just read a little bit. Um, this is the official website of KeePass, a free open source lightweight and easy to use password manager. Uh, so yeah, what is KeePass? Today you need to remember many passwords. You need a password for a Windows network login, your email account, your website FTP password, online password, um, like password, uh, like website membership accounts, etc., etc. Uh, the list is endless. As you should use different passwords for each account, but if you use only one password everywhere and someone gets this password, you have a problem, a serious problem. Uh, the thief will have access to all your accounts, basically. Uh, email accounts, websites, and all that stuff. Um, KeePass is an open source uh, password manager which help you manage your passwords in a secure way. You can put all your passwords in one database which is locked with one master key or a key file. So you only have to remember one single password and select the key file to unlock the whole database. The databases are encrypted using the best and most secure encryption algorithm uh, currently known, AES and 2FISH. Uh, for more information, see the features page. And yeah, there's another question out here. Is it really free? And yes, it is. It's open source. Okay, so let me go down and show you guys how to install it right fast. Um, so like I said, I'm using Orch Linux uh, and the sim it's a very simple command to install. I'm only showing it uh, for people that are new. So it's sudo pacman dash s uh, key pass. And I already have it installed. Um, so, and like I said, I use the XC uh, version. So it's just, um, So yeah, like I said, it's already installed, but that's pretty much the command, sudo pacman dash capital S and then key pass. You can either use key pass or key pass XC. Um, but one thing I wanted to show you guys, and like I said, I'm not gonna install that uh, cause it's already installed. Uh, let's go back to the main page. And um, I just wanna show you in the AUR right back. So if we go to orchlinux.org, this is a way I check packages. So you pretty much go key pass, type in, that'll bring up anything with key pass. And as you can see, the regular version of key pass is out of date for whatever reason. It was flagged in September, um, last updated in September. Uh, so maybe they haven't removed that flag yet, but um, like I said, this is the one I use. It's basically cross-platform community uh, driven port of KeePass Passwords Manager. Uh, same, same thing. You can get either one of them working. Uh, I just like the XC for whatever reason. Um, it seems like it's a little bit more up to date and maintained a little better. So that's why I use the XC. So now that I showed you that, uh, let's get in and show you guys how to actually use it so uh, let's clear and I'm only doing it like this just just cuz uh, you can uh, open up the application using the command line by just typing the application name so let's press enter and this is basically it um, and as you can see once you open up your database in KeePass it'll automatically know where it is like mine is stored in home Josh documents KeePass I created a folder for KeePass and then um, my password database, which is locked. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is create a new database just to, just for this demonstration. So uh, I'm, gonna change, I'm gonna name it P2. 
uh, and description test uh, DB it continued I just want to show you guys how it, it works uh, so you can go in um, So just to read this uh, here, you can adjust the database encryption settings. Uh, don't worry, you can change this later in the database settings. So um, 100 milliseconds, uh, you can you can set the encryption. So uh, depending on how long you want to wait for it. Uh, right now it's at one second. I'm sorry, one 1.0 seconds. So you can that the longer you wait, the uh, that means the more it's encrypted. Uh, so you can set those settings uh, and then this is the database format you can change it uh, which recommended is KDBX 4.0 I'm gonna just use that uh, there are some advanced settings um, this goes into the algorithm of the encryption uh, but we're really not gonna mess with that so uh, let's go back and then hit continue and I just want to show you what it's gonna do when you first set up a database so um, you basically type in a password. So I'm gonna just type in a bull, a bullcrap password. Now this is your master key or master password. Uh, so I'm gonna just put test one, two, three, and just show you guys. It doesn't matter because this thing is uh, gonna be deleted. So and then you can do add additional protection you can actually create a key or a key file um, that you have to find that file uh, on your computer to open it up so i'm gonna just use the password for right now and just press that but like i said please be careful with this password once you set this password this is the password for it so if you forget it i will write it down somewhere and put it in i don't know let's say a safe deposit box or uh, somewhere uh, where you know it won't get destroyed in any way because this is the only way you can get into the database and if you lose this password you can't recover all your other passwords so you're going to go through and and reset a whole bunch of passwords so uh, let's hit done right there um, and as you can see we can create the file and this is the actual database so I'm going to just um, I'm just gonna name it P2 just like the actual um, name that I created in the beginning of this so basically this is the main setup of, uh, of keypads and what you can do is go in you can add a bunch of groups and you can add entries so what I like to do is uh, go through and group everything so let's start by creating a group for um, let's say um, form form boards and then you can put you know a name on there uh, as uh, forms that I frequent cool and then also you can go through and select a select a different icon or whatever um, and what I normally do for sites like this, let's say I want to do, I just select the, the WordPress thing. That's what I like to do for form boards. So I just put that WordPress thing there. And then now we can go in. And once you have that one open, you can create you a, a, a entry. So let's say uh, random random form and then you can put your username let's say my name is Josh my username is Josh and then okay so this is the cool part about this you can actually generate passwords uh, so and you can select how secure you want them by just clicking this box right here this will create a password for you, you can go through and select your settings uh, for it to regenerate or for it to generate uh, like this is 16 characters uh, you can use uppercase, lowercase, uh, numbers, and special characters if you want to, so to make it a little bit more difficult. So uh, I'm gonna just remove the special characters. It doesn't matter, um, but you can go in and select it how however you want to. Uh, you can 
you know, take it up 35 characters, but, but, uh, I normally use, like, the default, which was 13 or so, uh, what did I say? yeah, there we go, 13, so, that's the default, and then you can copy this up, or actually, you just hit accept, uh, you can copy it if you want to, like, um, Let's say this is the password you want to use. Whatever is generated, you can copy it. Or, you, you know, you could just highlight and copy and paste it into whatever site you create, you're creating an account in. Uh, and then if you hit accept, it'll automatically store that in there. So, that's that password. So, so anyway, you can put whatever the site is in here and whatever notes you want. And just press OK. And good to go and then they all will use that same by default they will all use that same uh, icon uh, under forms so and then when you create another group say you create um, uh, banking and select the icon I think it's a money thing yeah I've, I've always used a money one spam and actually I created it under that one. I meant to create it under there. So, anyway, that's what the forms are. That's what the banking is. And then you can just create some some entries under there for your banking, just like you did that. So anyway, this is a great way to store your passwords, um, especially when you have super complex passwords that you want to. You, you, it's very hard to remember and the whole purpose of this thing is to keep your stuff secure uh, so when you close this thing like you can hit the lock button now and it'll lock the database and see you will have to I would have to type in that password again and so since it's encrypted right now uh, it'll take forever for anybody to get into it and um, it's not a hundred percent secure that's because the whole purpose of inscript encryption is so you uh it'll it'll take the hacker or some whoever's trying to steal your information it'll take them a very long time to get that information to decrypt it uh that's that's the whole purpose of it. it's just to make it difficult for anybody that's trying to uh get your information and get your passwords and this is a whole lot better than using the same password on every single site that you use uh, it's best that you use something like this that way you only have to remember one password and you can make that password as difficult as you like and then you can type in that password and then find whatever password you need copy and paste it up to the site and log in you know good to go so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe uh, leave a comment down below if you have any questions and of course keep it taking